So you can see I was able to import an audio file into Microsoft Word and Word was able to transcribe that into text. By the end of this video, you'll be able to transcribe audio into text using Microsoft Word. Let's get started. So some of the things that you can do within Microsoft Word to transcribe an audio file into text is you're able to take something like a MP3 file or a WAV file. If it has spoken words in it, you can have Microsoft Word transcribe that into a Word document that you can then edit and format. You can also dictate directly into Microsoft Word using your microphone and Microsoft Word will be able to make a transcript of that. You will be able to label the different speakers with a transcription or with a dictation. And then the text that that creates, you can then place into Microsoft Word and edit it the way you would like. One thing I wanted to point out is for this to work, you're going to want to have either a Microsoft subscription or have purchased a Microsoft Office product that includes Microsoft Word in the past. I'm currently using Windows 10 for this demonstration, so I'm not sure if this will work for any previous versions, but for Windows 10 and above, you should get this to work in Microsoft Word. So let's dig in with transcribing audio into a text. You're going to want to open up Microsoft Word, and you want to make sure that you click on the Home tab on the top left-hand side of your screen. Once you click on Home, then you want to go over to the right-hand side. You're going to see a option for Dictate, and there's a little arrow that you can click on. And under there, you'll see there's a transcribe option. I'm going to go ahead and click that. So this will open the transcribe dialog box on the right hand side of your screen. And you'll see you have different options when it comes to uploading audio for transcription. At the very top, it's saying that I can generate a transcript by uploading an audio file, anything from a WAV file, an MP4, that means a uh, video file. So you can actually take a video file and it will take the audio from that and place that into your Word document. I'll show that to you in this demonstration as well. And you can use it for an MP3 file. So let's go ahead and upload some audio to this. I'm going to go ahead and click on that option. Before you click on upload audio, you want to make sure you set your language. So you can see there are many languages that uh, Microsoft offers that you can transcribe. And so I've selected English so that I can upload audio that is in English. So I'm going to click on upload audio. This will bring up the different folders on your computer that you can choose files to upload. So I've got an audio file here. This is an MP3 file. I'm going to go and click on that and then click on open. Once I click on open, you'll see it'll transcribe the audio files. Depending on the size of your file, it might take a little while. This is a shorter file, so it shouldn't take too long. Once it's uploaded into Microsoft Word, you can see that it gave it a title. So it actually named it the same title that the MP3 file was. If you do a dictation, it most likely will title it my recording. I'll show you how to do a dictation here after we go through transcription. So you can see some numbers as well. And we've got zero to five. That means that this is five seconds long. And if I click the play button, you'll be able to hear the audio that was uploaded. Hopefully this helps you remove background noise from your recordings. So you can hear exactly what the recording was that I uploaded. And if I want to change the playback speed, I can click on this one X and I can do something like two X and it will go twice as fast when I click the play button. Hopefully this helps you remove background noise from your recordings. But the most important part is what you see right below the play button. And that is the transcription of what was uploaded. So you can see it converted that audio file to a text file perfectly. And to add that to my document, I can do this several different ways. And this plus icon, you can add that section to your document. So I'm going to click on that. So you can see that added the text to my Microsoft Word document. And you can see I can edit that document just the way I would like. You also can edit the transcription on the uh, transcribe option here. So I'm going to click on this small pen and I can change the speaker name. So let's change that to my first name, which is Kyle. And then if I have uh, this clicked, then that will change all the speaker names. If I had multiple audios here, I will show you how to do that after we do this one. If there was anything that it didn't transcribe perfectly, you can change that right here as well. So let's say I said recording instead of recordings. Then once you're happy with your transcription, you just press on the confirm button there. So you can add that to the document with the plus icon or on the bottom, you can add the entire transcription to the document. There is an arrow here and I can add just the text. I can add it, the text with the speakers, text with timestamps or text with speakers and timestamps. So you can see if I add just text, it was able to add just the text to the document here. So I have the first one that I did and then the second one. You might also notice that there's a link that it added to the document as well as a link at the top of the transcribe. That is the link to access your audio recording. So what it did, it was it uploaded that to your OneDrive account. And if you click on that, it will take you to your OneDrive account and it will go to the transcribed files and you can play that file here or I can go ahead and just X out of this screen. And now I'm in my files and transcribed files to find this in your OneDrive. 
what you can do is go to My Files, scroll down, find Transcribed Files, and then click on that, and you'll be able to find the one that you just uploaded. So the one I uploaded was the Transcribed Audio Demo. So it was three minutes ago, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Hopefully this helps you remove background noise. So there's the audio. And if I wanted to uh, do anything with that transcription, I can click on the three dots here. I can change the name, I can download it, I can move, I can do different uh, things with that transcription here in OneDrive. So that will be saved in your OneDrive account. So if we go back to Word, and let's say we want to do another transcription for this Word document, either uploading or do a dictation. What you're gonna to wanna to do, you'll notice if I click the X icon here on the top, it will just close it. And then if I go back to Home, Dictate, Transcribe, you'll notice that it will bring up the file again. So it's got the same file there. So what that means is Microsoft Word can only attach one transcription to a file at a time. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is click on New Transcription on the bottom right hand side of the screen. So when I click on new transcription, and that will bring up a dialogue saying that if I create a new transcript, it will delete the current transcript. Now it will delete that transcript within this document. But as you noticed, we had this transcript saved within our OneDrive that we can access later. So I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna press okay. So now it brings up the transcribe dialogue box again. And so this time let's go ahead and do a dictation. So I'm gonna click on start recording. So now that I've clicked start recording, you'll notice that it is recording from my microphone. You're always gonna make sure your settings are correct so that you're recording from the right input. And if I click on this button right here, it's going to pause the recording. So that can give me some time to think about what I'm gonna say next. And so when I'm ready, I can click on resume recording. And so now it's recording again. And when I'm finished, I can click on save and transcribe now. And the process is similar as you saw before, where it's going to go ahead and transcribe the file and then upload that to your OneDrive. And here we have the recording. You notice they named it your recording, one wave. And I can do all of the things I did before, but you notice I have multiple options here. So I can change the speakers as I had before and I have the transcripts. You can see everything that was said during that. And let's say I wanna add that to my document. I just click here. And then let's say I wanna add everything, speakers and timestamps. I went ahead and added that to my transcript and we've got a perfect rendering of the audio that I spoke in with the dictation. One thing I wanted to point out is with the dictation option, while you're recording, you actually can be typing in your document uh, while the recording is taking place. So you can be doing both at the same time. So that's something to keep in mind whenever you're doing a dictation in Microsoft Word. I also wanted to point out that this will work with Microsoft on the web as well. So the version of Microsoft I'm working on now is the version that is installed on my computer, but this will work with the web version as well. If you sign into your Microsoft account online, you can do the dictation service there. It's very similar. You go to the home section and then you'll find a, a dictate button and you'll drop that down and uh, find the same options that you have here. It might look a little different, but it's, it's basically the same functions. Lastly, I would like to show you how you can import an MP4 or a video file into this. And so let's go ahead and start a new transcription. I'm gonna go ahead and press okay so that it deletes that one. So now when I click on upload audio, I'm going to find a video file and upload that. So I have a video here that I found that I'd like to upload and I'd like it to take the audio and then transcribe that. So I'm gonna click on that and then click on open much like I did before with the audio file. Now with a video file, it's gonna take much longer to upload because it has to parse out the audio from the video. And there it is. So you can see the transcription of that video. It's quite a long transcription. And again, you have the options at the bottom. So if I want to edit any of this, uh, like we did before, you can press the edit icon, edit the speaker, edit the text. And then once you're okay with that, you press the confirm button for each section and then go to the bottom, add to the document. And then let's say just the text this time. So I added that to the document and we can see all the text that was here and it's not formatted. Other Microsoft products have transcription services as well. So things like Microsoft Outlook. Uh, so anytime you're working with email, you'll notice it has a similar button and similar functions that we went through in this video, as well as Microsoft PowerPoint. So you now know how to transcribe audio into text using Microsoft Word. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other videos on this channel that show you how to take audio files and convert them into MIDI or into text or anything like that. If you're interested in those, I'll put links to them around this video.